So why the heck do you have to sign that form when all you really want to do is go look at a house? <laughs> I get that question a lot. So hey, listen, in the state of New Hampshire, the brokerage disclosure form that your real estate agent is asking you to acknowledge or sign is really designed to be a consumer protection piece. So number one, you should know who the agent you're working with represents or does not represent in a transaction. Are you looking at a property with an agent who is a seller's agent, an agent who is a buyer's agent, meaning you're hiring them, or an agent that is a facilitator where they don't represent anyone, simply just the marketplace? So if an agent provides you with this brokerage disclosure, which they should, look at it as this is really important consumer protection piece for you. And secondly, it's actually been required since 1990. So if you're out there looking at property and the real estate agent that you're working with has not presented that document to you, then how are you going to know whether they're representing the seller or not? So it's really important to have an agent that's come, you know, basically in compliance with the law than someone that's skirting it. So if you're looking at property, the agent had better have done that. So you have choices in New Hampshire. You have agency choices. And I'm going to go over those choices in our second video. But this is part one of a series on your agency choices in the state of New Hampshire. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. You can send me an email. You can send me a text. I'll put all my contact information in the description below. Monica McGillicuddy, nhrealtyscoops.com, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Barani Realty.